All right. Um, yeah. So a quick midweek update. So on the uh, slide roll project, um, I had not midweek, but uh, like mid progress report, I suppose. Um, but kind of been working on the uh, electronics interface layout a little bit recently. Um, kind of goes about there about. And I started off by just I'm I'm think th I'm thinking of revising it from original that original wood panel um, that was kind of thrown together didn't really think about it too much um, before I went ahead and did it I'm thinking of replacing that with an acrylic cut after I did the uh, needle window um, the little the, this thing out of acrylic I, I just really like acrylic all of a sudden it's really nice I like it um, nice material to work with. Anyways, I'm thinking of doing it out of acrylic, um, laser cutting it, and then doing these little chamfers by hand on just like a drill press with a chamfer tool or something. Um, and making the electronics panel that way um, gives me a little bit of room to like laser engrave little like um, text on there for like the different buttons and like power button and stuff. Um, so generally, the layout for the electronics interface is looking like um, just a little LCD, like a, you know, like a calculator LCD, um, and a whole bunch of buttons to enter. This is may not look like a regular kind of button layout for a calculator, but I, I'm trying to do the best I can with the space I, I have. Ugh, excuse me. Um, but it should, you know, it should do the trick. I, it should have enough buttons for all the things. Um, I kind of have an idea for which buttons I want to go where, but that's kind of down the road. I know I have enough, at least. That's that's the, the important part. Um, so yeah, it's got a little LCD there, a whole bunch of little ta just tactile switch buttons with the little plungers. I'm probably gonna either machine, hopefully, out of aluminum, or print, worse comes to worse. Kind of gonna be ugly. I, I kind of want it to be not aluminum, because it's gonna feel nice on the fingers, and I can hand finish it with um, with like sandpaper or something. But then you have little encoders on separate little encoder boards and I'm thinking they will just set and offset in the um, set point for the um, for the slide and for the needle so one's for the slide one for the needle you turn it so you can move it by hand um, or you enter it here and it'll move for you um, the way and I, I did this in us uh, in fusion first because um, here you can see the actual thing a little bit better uh, just on its own but um, I did it in Fusion first, just to kind of get a feel for where everything is in space, kind of figure out where I want things, how much room I have, how that fits into, wow, thanks, all right, cancel. Um, how that fits into um, the rest of the, you know, the rest of the thingy. Um, and then, yeah, so I kind of figured that out. I, I, I wanted to use the little threaded metal inserts to mount the PCB to that, but unfortunately they have to use some really weird metric size, so I guess I'm doing that now. Um, probably just going to use standoffs for the whole thing. Um, countersunk these things to make it look pretty. Um, did all the PCB layout in Fusion as well, initially at least. To kinda, again, to kind of get a feel for how big things are, where they're going how I'm going to make it, yada, 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 um, and how much, like, especially the important part is how much room I have, uh, not here, uh, how much room I have between this LCD and the board, because I want to put stuff under there, and yeah, um, I want to put stuff under there, because there's a lot of just empty space on that board, and empty area is really expensive, so I'm thinking of populating that with, you know, random crap. Um, I did some initial kind of layout, kind of getting a feel for it so far. Uh, this is just a schematic so far, nothing crazy. I'm thinking of using an Arduino Mini Pro because what I want to have is a nice programming port on the side of the board, and it's going to be hard to get to like a Teensy's USB plug um, since I'm probably going to be reprogramming this often. Um, if I go to the board, Kind of already started laying it out a little bit. Uh, got my ground planes. I wanted to put the stepper drivers on here as well, but I don't think I have room. There's just they're just too big. Um, I might put that underneath the board. We'll figure that one out. Um, I am thinking of doing a little a, hard, a soft latching um, startup button, power button, 
um, with this little power with this little uh, tactile switch over here, um, and then just having a MOSFET and the little circuit. I don't know. We'll see how that works out. Um, but yeah, that's that's about it so far. Just a little short thingy. Um, but yeah, it's coming along still, which is important as long as it's moving. All right. Well, um, I sh this might kind of overlap with the next progress update a little bit, but um, Steam go away. But um, yeah, if it does, it does, I guess. Um, but that's about that's about it for this little update, though.